All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Kapadash. There were honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, they were well, and a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing the truth in all sincerity and in truth. Um, the title of this lesson, it might be don't be a nigga in fringes, right? Don't be a nigga in fringes, okay? Let's get that. Come on, man. To all the Akim and to the few Akwaf that's learning and listening. Let's see. Let's see. Not sure which one it is. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll get this one. It says, uh, this is uh, Matthew 23 and 27. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto the whited the sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but within, like, but are within, full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Right? Now, right, man? Now, when when something looks now basically they was looking righteous on the outside right our art men uh, 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 um, looking like they was doing everything right on the outside but on the inside they was wicked niggas man right I know there's a scripture where uh, where Yahweh said they that they uh, they're uh, uh, a phylacteries. I'm not even sure how to spell phylacteries. Let's see real quick phylacteries. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it here. <laughs> Okay, phylacteries. Let's see. Phylacteries in the scriptures. Let's see. Phylacteries in the Bible. Let's see. Uh, come on. This is uh, Matthew. Here it is. Come on, come on. All right. Matthew 23 and 5, it says, But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries. They come and, and enlarge the borders of their garments. Right? Now let's get this. Enlarge the border of their garments. Enlarge. Strong's G, 3170, Megaluno, Megaluno. Right, uh, Megaluno. Mm, mega, that's where the, the word mega come from. Mm, mm, wow. Okay. It says, uh, magnify, enlarge, show great, right? Uh, it says, um, to make great, magnify, uh, 
esteem highly get glory and praise right so they wear what man uh, they wear the uh the best garments right the most expensive looking garments right but they do that to be seen of men man okay Right, they say, um, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. Right, so they want uh, the best seat in the house, man. Right, they want to have the the highest position in Israel, man. Right, but. On the inside, though, they are just wicked ass niggas, man, and fringes. All right, man, they never changed, man. They never changed, man. They are still conforming to this world, man. Right, man, they miss the old life they had, man. All right, man. They just want to appear righteous instead of actually changing. Hold on, well, let's get Romans. Yeah, well, what I'm playing is uh is um uh um is um uh my father always played them when I was in my teens. Uh uh uh, Kenny G, right? Kenny G. Let's give uh, Romans 12. Not Romans 2, Romans 12. Romans 12 and uh, 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, ex- kind of uh, um, um, an acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh, right? So you're not what? Well, well, what, man? Well, what, man? Uh, you're not conforming to the fashion of this world, man, right? You have what? Changed, man. You have changed, right? Get Colossians. I think it's. Let's see. Might be Con. Con Colossians three. It says. Uh, okay. This is uh. Colossians three and five. We will mortify. Therefore, you are members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, uh, um, in inordinate affection, evil uh, um, uh, concupiscence, right? Covation, kind of covetousness, which is idolatry, right? Let's go into to some of these words real quick. Mortify. Mortify means to mm, means to make dead, put to death. So basically, you're supposed to slay and kill your your uh, your your old self man right you're supposed to put your old self to death man you're supposed to kill it right because it's not going to do you any good in the truth because it's not going to do you any good in the truth man Right, members. Let's go in, in, in to that real quick. See, a member, limb, a member of the human body. See, 
Strong's G, 3196, Melos. 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 Okay, Melos. Right? In order and affection is going to. Okay, Pathos says whatever befalls one, whether it be sad or joyous, a calamity, mishap, um, evil, uh, affliction, right? A, f a, f like he says, uh, a feeling, right? So you're supposed to put those vile passions away, man, right? You still want you. You still wanting to hold on to the old life you had, man. Instead of actually changing, you still want to be a nigga, but call yourself an Israelite, though. Come on, man. You're supposed to change, man. It says... Says for which things the sake sake for which things sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh upon the children of disobedience, right? In the which ye walked also in time past, like in some time when ye lived in them, right? And Jake is still living in them, man. Right, man. Jake still wants to hold on to his old life, life, man. All right, man. Because Jake wanna wanna put on uh, uh, Instagram, right? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, pictures of how he was in the world, world, man. Right? Called himself a savage when he was in the world. Well, nigga, evidently you. Well, nigga, evidently you're. You, well, nigga, evidently you're still a savage, man. You're still a wicked nigga, man. Because you ain't changed yet. Because you, because you, because you have not changed, man. You haven't changed, so you're still that. So you're still that damn savage, man. It says, in, it says, uh, but now you also put off all these: <gasps> anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy. Filthy communication out of your mouth, right? Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, right? So, you're supposed to have put on the new man, man, okay? In instead of being so quick. Uh, to wear fringes uh, uh, um, on the borders of your uh, shirts, shirts, man, right? You are supposed to change. Before, you are supposed to change before you did that, man, right? Because you can't, because you, because, man, you cannot wear fringes and still be a wicked nigga, man. You can't do that. You got to change, man. You have to change, man. You don't have a choice but to change. All right. Says, uh, this is uh, Job 29 and 14. I put on righteousness and it clothed me. My judgment was as a robe and a, and a diadem. Mm. Right, man? So we're supposed to... So, Jake, you're supposed to put on righteousness, man. Right? And what's that, man? That's this truth, man. You're supposed to put on this truth, man. As a robe of honor, man. You're supposed to put on this... This. You're supposed to... You're supposed to put on this truth, truth man. Because this truth is what's righteous, man. You ain't. This truth is. So you supposed to put that on, man. Right? It says it here. Uh, Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength. 
O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Right? Now what's the, the beautiful garment, man? That's this truth, man. All right, man? The, the, thy strength is this truth, man. Right? And the, the beautiful garments is, is this truth also, plus the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of it, man. All right? But no, man. But Jake still want to be a worldly nigga and still live uh, and still try to live the life he had when he was in the world, world, man, and still hold on to it. Let's get this. This is uh, Romans um, 13 and 12. It says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Right? So cast off the works of darkness, man. Meaning what? What, man? Putting off the old life. Life, man. Right, man? Putting off the old life. Life, man. Right, man? Uh, putting off the old man. Right, man? And also letting go of Of the old life that you was living, man. Right, man. But Jake can't do that, man. Jake refused to. All right, all right, man. But Jake, ref, man. But Jake refused to. But Jake refused to do that, man. Jake refused to uh, do it. Do it, man. Right. It says this Romans thirteen and fourteen. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach, make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Right? Provision. No. Need provision. Provision means this. See. Supplying facilities, right? Action of providing. Mm. Let's see some real quick. Mm. Okay, provision, uh, pornea. All right, pornea. Right, forethought, uh, providential care to make provision for a thing. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is um, Ephesians 4 and 24 it says and that ye put on hold on Ephesians 24 and 3 well 24 and uh, 22 it says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is renewed according to the Slakia, Slakia, Slakia. That ye put off the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right, man? You have to think differently, man. Right? Right, man? You must carry yourself like you have some home training, man. Right? You should not be carrying yourself like a fucking nigga, man. Don't do that, man. All right, all right, man, but you still have those Jakes in Israel that still do that, man. That still carry themselves like niggas, man. Say, and that ye put on the new man 
which is renewed. It's like it's it like it's like it, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right? Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, right? And your neighbor is your brother, right? To say, for we are members of one another. See? So, change, man. You're supposed to change, man. Instead of being the same, instead of being the same thug ass nigga, man. All right, man. Instead of putting on 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 Instagram, man, y'all don't know, man. Y'all don't know, man. Man, when man, when I was in the world, man, I was a savage, man. Really, really. So you want to be known as being a savage in the world, huh? That's stupid, man. That's re that that's retarded, man. That is dumb as hell, man. You want to be remembered for being a savage in the world, man. Come on, man. That's stupid as hell, man. Right? This is, uh... Verse 31, it says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, right? Now, he still had malice in his heart, heart, man. All right, man, he was still speaking evil, man, right? Saying, well, well, with all the tough talk in Israel, let's throw on the gloves and see if the most high and see... Kind of, and see if the Most High is with y'all. Really? Really? So fighting is going to prove that somehow, right? Nigga, please, man. Yeah, right, bro. You you need to change, man. Un unless Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall destroy you, man. It says, okay, come on, verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Yah Khan, uh, um, uh, even as Yahweh for Hamashiach's sake hath forgiven you, man. Right? Alright, man, because niggas hold grudges in the world, world, man. Niggas hold grudges, man. You're not supposed to hold any grudge, man. Right? Let's get this. This is uh, uh, Leviticus 19 and 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. Right? Now, Jake still want they lick. All right, man, but Jake still want they lick back, man. When you cut Jake, man, Jake want they lick back. No, -uh. no, man. You've been cut, man. You've been cut with the scriptures, man. Deal with it, man. And repent. Just accept the correction, man. It says, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, right? Grudge. Right? Grudge is Natar, right? Uh, hold on, real quick. Grudge, maintain. All right, man. So Jake is still maintaining that that grudge, man. Right? This is a grudge. Let's see. Let's see what it's saying. Grudge. Right? Grievance, uh, a persistent feeling of ill will or resentment resulting from a past insult or injury. Right? All right, man. So Jake still wants to hold on to, to him being, uh, 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 uh rebuked and corrected. Like uh, six months ago. Come on, man. Really, bro. Really, bro. Really. So you still upset because you got corrected. And rebuked. 
six months ago. When you should have gotten past it, man, and, and just changed. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him, right? So we so we rebuked you, man. We, bro, we were bro, we rebuked you, man. But you want to come with insults though after uh, 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 after getting rebuked, man. You you want to come with a uh, 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 results? No. So like you're not results, but you want to come with insults and defaming our character, man. All because you hurt. All because you hurt, man. Come on, man. That's stupid, man. And that's showing that you hate us, man. All right, man, because... We don't hate you, man, because we rebuked you, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Well, Yahweh shot, man. We rebuked you, man. We rebuked you, man. But you want to come, but, but, but you want to come with this nigga mentality, man. Saying, 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 no, man, fuck that shit, man. Fuck them niggas, man. They tripping, man. Really? Man, they hate, man. Man, they hate. Bruh, ain't nobody hating on you, man. You ain't important, bruh. Understand that, man. You're not important, man. You're not above correction, bruh. You're not above correction, man. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, Pride goeth before destruction, and the haughty spirit before fall. All right, man. And he got a lot of pride, man. All right, man. His spirit is proud, man. He has a proud spirit on him, man. All right? It says, Pride goeth before destruction. All right, man. So his pride is going to lead him to destruction, man. It says, In the haughty spirit before. All right, man. Uh, um, in a haughty spirit before a fall, man. All right, man. So his fall, it's it's going to be great, great, man. Why? Because he is just a nigga in fringes that thinks he's all that, man. Get this last one. Humility. Let's see. Humility. Come on, this is uh Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Right, man? So he wants honor right now, man. Instead of being humble, man. Instead of being humble. He wants honor first. You, he wants honor and still be a nigga. Come on, man. No. No, man. No. Not at all, man. Not at all. Right? Uh, uh, Proverbs 22 and 4. By humility and the, fear, and the fear of Yahweh are riches and honor and life. Right, man? So, by humility and the fear of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Or riches and honor and life, life, man. So you should, so you should want to be humble, man, because what comes with being humble, man? 
riches, honor, life. All right. All right, man. So with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Kapodash, Rakathon, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a salute and a Shalom to all the Akim that are out there laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. And with that, I say Shalom.